congratulations on your gold medal, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, it was a pretty awesome day. <laughs> yeah, it looked like it. I saw you cross the finish line. It was so cool. Yeah, it was very emotional. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was neat. What do you like most about triathlon and what do you like the least? Um, what I like the most about triathlon is the triathlon community. I think they're like a family and, you know, anything I need, anywhere I am in the world, I feel like I have friends and that's because of the triathlon community. And for me, that's something I really enjoy. I guess for uh, what I like the least is probably uh, if I have to get up and either train in like freezing cold, rainy weather, or if I have to jump in a really cold pool. What was the biggest thing you had to give up for triathlon? Um, well, for me, the biggest thing that I think has helped me actually has to change a mindset and not view things as giving them up. So I used to always say I needed to make a sacrifice. I needed yeah. to make a sacrifice and leave home for nine months. And I changed my mindset and got rid of that vocabulary. And I view everything I, I do as an investment. So now I see, you know, if I have to miss a family holiday or wedding or something like that, I view it as an investment in my career. And that's something that's really, um, I think it's allowed me to thrive in the sport. How do you calm your nerves before a race? <laughs> that is so cute. Um, how do I calm my nerves before a race? Yeah. I think it's good to know that if you have nerves, it's not necessarily a bad thing and everyone gets nervous before yeah. a race. But for me, something I do to kind of help combat that is um, I have a journal that I keep that I write in, and every day I write down three things I've done well and three things I could improve. And before a race, I go back and look at my journal and look at the things that I've done well. And that really gives me confidence leading into the race and helps calm my nerves because I know I've, I've done the work and I know I'm prepared and um, ready to go. What's your favorite race? Ooh, well, the Rio Olympics was definitely yeah. my favorite race. <laughs> Um, but besides the Olympics, yeah. you know, anytime I'm racing in the U S it's a unique yeah. opportunity. So I've raced in Chicago, which is, uh, pretty fun. And yeah. I also like racing in Japan cause it's yeah. so different. Um, mm -hmm. and everyone's really polite and organized and it's just a really well run race. Yeah. A lot of us have like really disappointing races and, you know, it's hard to get over, um, you know, doing, not doing so good. So uh, I was just wondering. Yeah, it is. And it's, you know, I think um, another thing that really helps is to focus on the process. So a lot of times we come up with these goals of I want to win. Yeah. And having, you know, if you don't cross the finish line and win, you're basing, if you don't win, you think you failed. Yeah. But so going into a race, like most of my goals aren't outcome based. Most of them are, oh, I want to have a high elbow in the yeah. swim or I want to keep my shoulders relaxed on the run. And I think things that you know are achievable, that you know you can get done in a race, if you set those goals before a race and you're able to uh, actually do those in a race, then the race can be successful no matter what the outcome is. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to do when you're not training? <laughs> um, eat, Yeah. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Solid um, answer. Yeah, you know, I think um, my days are pretty ordinary and boring, yeah. <laughs> um, which sounds maybe weird to people when I'm a professional triathlete traveling yeah. around the world. It yeah. sounds very um, exciting and exotic, but, you know, in between training sessions, I basically am taking a nap, yeah. watching Netflix, reading a book, and eating. That kind of um, is what my day is like. I spend a lot of time with my husband, Patrick, and um, that's basically all I do. <laughs> What do you want to do after your triathlon career is over? Great question. Do you have any suggestions? <laughs> <laughs> um, not really. <laughs> I think um, for me, I definitely want to have a family. Yeah. But I want to have uh, kids and then also get back into sport after I have yeah. um, a family. So uh, I'm not really sure. To, I, I, you know, I always see myself in the sport. I'm just not sure yeah. uh, what the future holds right now. Yeah.